Friends, today's NRI Samai program from Los Angeles brought to you commercial free by listeners like you. Your generous donations make possible for us to stay commercial free. And today's show is pre recorded. If you have a question for the guest, please send an email to nri samai at gmail.com. We will follow up with the guest and find the answer for you. Thank you for your support. Hello friends, welcome back to NRI Samai. Sunday, March 25th. Hello. I hope you're all having or have a, a wonderful weekend. You're listening to NRI Samai from Los Angeles. And this is Srikanth Kochala Kota, your today's host. Mm. Mm-hmm. So friends, Mizoram is a land of hill people, also called Mizo. It's also a land of rolling hills, valleys, rivers and lakes. And also beyond that has the highest literacy rate of close to 91.5%, next only to Tripura and Kerala. This quite northeastern state very recently achieved an amazing feat. And uh, this, this has become the uh, uh, land where uh, Mizoram has become a maiden national football champion, or better called winners of the Santosh Trophy, the 68th Santosh Trophy. So if you look back at the Wikipedia page, friends, about Santosh Trophy, you'll see that Mizoram being on the table as 2014 winners. How could this northeastern state achieve such a brilliant feat? To talk about this, we have with me uh, Lelingova Mar, the secretary of Mizoram Football Association. It's also sweetly called Tete, the man who's credited for ushering a football revolution in Mizoram. Tete, thank you so much for joining today's show, sir. Welcome to the program. Okay, thank you, thank you. Tete, first of all, congratulations to the people of Mizoram. Incredible feat, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much on behalf of all the football fans from the state. So, Tete, Mizoram, at least until the past three years, from nowhere to becoming the junior football champions, to now recently the 68th National Santos Trophy champion, beating all the odds. So, Tete, there is something that's, that's going right at Mizoram. What do you think? What do you think you're doing good that other states can emulate, Tete? You know, we, we are doing the basic things right. That is, uh, we, we have started the Mizoram Premier League, which, is, I mean, which was started two seasons back. Mm-hmm. And we also started the... Uh, grassroots project here, which was uh, nowhere to be heard in, in Indian football. And uh, we have already, uh, I mean, organized a three a coaching camp for the coaches. It's like a trainer's tra- training program. But the kids should go to the Mizoram Premier League because it is through this uh, football league that uh, we, we, we became the champions of India, which we we, we, we knew that we, we have, I mean, we are capable of, but we, we, we could not uh, deliver on this, on, on, on our promise. But uh, this year, uh, after all the hard work done uh, two, two years back in the Mizoram Premier League, we have reaped the fruits. Mm. And there's a lot of, you know, this is a world of extreme distractions. You know, people are, are hell-bent on looking into uh, social causes, political causes. You know, sports have taken some sort of backseat. Uh, I, at least when I see the mainstream media, they, they, I don't get the sense that, you know, encouraging the national uh, football championships, junior championships, sub-junior championships. In, in, in U.S., at least, they talk about, you know, college football, college basketball. It's, it's a lot of noise that I see here in the U.S. But unfortunately, in India, and that too in the northeastern states, uh, they, they, it's, it's not that case, right? So one got to be extremely focused, having a lot of interest in order to uh, promote football, right? So mm-hmm. they, they, how, how did you guys focus as Mizoram Football Association? I'm sure that a lot of brains come, came together and you focused, right? How did you guys come together, uh, Tete? Uh, it's a long story, but I'll, I'll try to cut it short. Mm-hmm. I became the secretary of the Mizoram Football Association three years back. So when I, I mean, when I started 
uh, becoming the secret three, uh, we did not have, we didn't have any structure, footballing structure. So I decided that uh, the first thing first, what we need to do is uh, to start a football league. There, there are a few middle players playing in the at the national level in the I League, the so-called I League, which is the top level of Indian football, and and a few of them representing nation at the finance level, and and some four or five of them representing India at the senior level. Mm. But we have equally, I mean, equally talented players back home who do not have uh, this kind of opportunity. So what I decided is we cannot send all the players outside the state to earn the livelihood through football. We need to start our start our own football league in Mizoram. So I am fortunate to have a colleague from from uh, one of the uh, cable TV station here in Mizoram. They decided mm. to invest in uh, Mizoram football. They decided to sponsor the Mizoram Premier League. So it's uh, Indian rupees, 25 lakhs every year for five years. They promised me that they will give me the money. Then, uh, so they have done their homework. So it's 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 my turn to do to do my part. So we have started uh, building the footballing structure, starting with eight eight Mizoram Premier League clubs. So mm-hmm. it, it it I mean it it it's played uh, for for four months. Four months of football means. I mean, previously there was no uh, no structure as such. Mm-hmm. So in the first year, we, we have done it all right. We, we, with lot of promise that uh, we, we have entered the Santos Trophy, but we were beaten in the first hurdle. So this year, we want to make sure that we reach at least the semifinals. Semifinal was our aim. So uh, we, we have started the preparation of, I mean, we, we, ha- we have stopped the Mizoram Premier League in between to prepare for the Santos Trophy. Because for Mizoram uh, to get into the limelight of uh, Indian national media is like uh, we, we we need we need to have a result. So okay. uh, we I mean with that focus uh, we have started the uh, camp for the Santos Trophy that was uh, two months in advance. So we were trying very hard for this. Hmm. So when I when I hear about this Mizoram success story, right? It's holistic. It's like you've become the national. Uh, champions and also you become the junior championship so there's something called oh, yes. holistic uh, approach that you guys have taken which is uh, which has done mm-hmm. some sort of sweeping uh, progress in all of this uh, in the entire uh, Mizoram right so let's talk a little bit about this Mizoram uh, league that you've planned with with your good friend of yours the cable uh, league who sponsored yeah. right so what what does the structure look like? Do you go to schools, promote them, sort of, sort of uh, play inter schools, inter inter colleges? What does it look like, uh, Tete? Uh, you know, un- unlike the other state of India and unlike your place there in the US, uh, the, 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 the 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 school football is not very popular here. Mm-hmm. But uh, we we have our own inter district sub junior football and inter district uh, junior football. Mm-hmm. Uh, for this Muslim Premier League, uh, it's uh, the the. This is not only a, a football league for the seniors. Uh, it's mandatory that uh, all the football teams, uh, the, 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 all the football clubs in the Mizoram Premier League, should have their own under-17 football team. We also have our under-17 Mizoram Premier League. So the champions of the recently concluded India uh, Junior Football Championships are most of the players are from the under-17 Mizoram Premier League, mm. and also. Apart from that, uh, we, we have started this, what we call uh, grassroots football in Mizoram. So it was it was all planned by the All India Football Federation, in fact. I mean, uh, the, the, the technical director, Mr. Rob Dan from the Netherlands, when he came visiting Mizoram two years back, he noticed that we have the talent here. So he, he decided uh, to start the first ever grassroots football project in Mizoram, I mean, of the, of the country in Mizoram. So that, that that was started three years back. So you know, uh, we have done well at the grassroots level, which uh, ultimately leads to you know more people coming into the scene, and and the parents they started getting interest in in, in more, more and more into football, and the Mizoram Premier League under 17 is doing a good job because you know previously these junior players they did not have the platform to show off their skill. Uh, I was. I was very confident in, I mean, at the beginning that uh, with this uh, platform, we will be able to produce the best of junior football in the in the country. So, 
but I was not expecting them to to become the champions at, at their very first tryout. I mean, after the launch of the Mizoram Premier League under 17, so it, it it's of a surprise for me also because we beat. I mean, we trash all the opponents on the way by you know a score of like five goals, seven goals. You know, even in in in, in the final, we were scoring six goals. Right. Right. And friends, uh, this is Inari Samai, and uh, I'm Srikant. I'm in conversation with Tete, as he's uh, pleasantly called. And uh, he's uh, Lalingua Mar, the secretary of uh, Mizoram Football Association. So, Tete, uh, let's, let's, let's go through this. Now, I've also heard that Mizoram always had the talent, but most of the players could not play regularly, you know? When we say that they can't play regularly, why is that so, Tete? Uh, it's because, you know, we, we, we did not have the structure. The Mizoram Football Association was not uh, properly framed. Uh, even though we had the love for football, but we did not have the financial backup. And the people who were heading the Football Association, they did not really think in terms of, I mean, development of the state, even though they, they love they, they, they loved football. But they... They do not. I mean, they they do not have the idea that we 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 can make this a grand success not only in the state. But when I became a secretary, the first thing which came to my mind was, uh, as I said earlier, we have a quality. I mean, we have some players playing in at 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 the highest level in Indian football, but their friends who are equally talented are left without earning anything back home. So we should try to create a platform for these people. So. Uh, the, the, the people who were with the Mizoram Football Association before, uh, they were happy enough as long as uh, you know we enjoy our, our local football, uh, the old-fashioned knockout tournament, which was very popular here uh, since uh, I mean uh, the, the early 60s. Mm-hmm. But for a footballer to progress, he needs to play all all, all around the year. For that, we need a properly structured football league, which we did not have. Uh, to to start this properly structured football league, you need I mean lots of things to to be done. And uh, number one is uh, first of all you need a sponsor, which I I am very fortunate to get one from from Zonet Cable TV. And number two is you need to convince the people that it is worth I mean it is worth the playing in this league. For that we have to do lots of publicity and also uh, you know uh, we have to do a lot of consultation. So you know, after going through all this, uh, we 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 started the Mizoram Premier League, which I I am very proud to say that it, this is the only televised league in the whole of India. Oh wow! I mean, from the first matches, from the first match till the end, you have some matches in Bengal, which is telecast live, but not all the matches. But wow. this Mizoram Premier League, as it is. I mean, sponsored by a cable TV. The first match till then, it's 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 live in 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 the TV at prime time, uh, yeah. and the government of Mizoram also they are doing a great job, because this is a this is, is, as you have mentioned at your introductory remark that this is a state of hill. I mean hills, and we 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 are struggling to get a football playground of proper size from yeah. that side. But this present government, they are proactive when it comes to promoting sport and especially football. They have constructed many uh, standard-sized football fields with artificial turf and, believe it or not, floodlights. So we are playing at night and at around 7.30 kickoff. So, you know, this is right. uh, attracting people and also it's live in the television. So, you know, all the good things are coming together. Right. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned about uh, all this all these games, the uh, Mizoram uh, Football League, which is aired in the mainstream television channels, and also that one, the prime time, you know, it's all money when it comes to uh, the television channels, right? So what was the interest like in the people, uh, uh, Tete? It's like, uh, uh, what was the interest amongst the people, and uh, how, did, how did sponsors or the corporates respond to this uh, uh, Mizoram Football League when they saw these matches on the television? Okay. This, you know, this Mizoram state is a state we, which doesn't have any nightlife. We don't have any clubs. We don't have any bar. liquor is prohibited here by, by by the state government. And we, you know, the EU they do not have anything to do at night. So, entertainment wise, I can probably say that this is the biggest entertainment in the whole state because we we 
Uh, we, we do not have any outside activities at night other than this uh, Mizoram Premier League. Uh, you know, it, it, it's doing well, but, but the problem is that this is such a small state which doesn't really uh, have any, I mean, I mean, attract the, the, the big corporate houses in, 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 in what we call the mainstream India. Even though the national media, they started, you know, writing something about the Mizoram Premier League after the triumph in the Santos Trophy. Mm-hmm. But I am still struggling to get, uh, you know, the attention of the big uh, corporate houses in, in, in the mainstream India. Do you have some corporate houses which generally uh, push the football leagues like this, uh, Tete? Any, any corporates that you could mention? Uh, you know, now, now, now in Iza we we do not have such. I I mean, uh, the, the, this this whole league is, is it's sponsored by Mahindra Two Wheelers, but mm-hmm. it's not the main Mahindra Two Wheelers uh, headquarters uh, who are based in, in in Delhi or whatever. But this is uh, sponsored by the North East Zone from 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 from, from North. I mean, from Gohati in Assam. Uh-huh. So you know, uh, business wise, uh, a, a small a small state like Mizoram, we don't attend much population. Uh, we do it's it, it's very very difficult to attract the sponsor but we are trying hard for this and with the help now with the help of the media and also you know if people like you calling all the way from us now we started getting you know uh, importance from 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 different different places hopefully uh, you know this in turn will will will, will yield us more and more sponsors in the years to come absolutely and uh, friends whoever uh, listening to the show around the world just go to this Wikipedia page. If you go to Santosh Trophy, yeah. you'll be fascinated to see that Mizoram takes place in the table uh, starting from 1940 or 1941. The Santosh Trophy has been happening in India. And if you see the table, you can clearly see that West Bengal were the champions for almost 31 times, Punjab 8 times, Kerala 5 yeah. times. And if you see also the table of, uh, from, from the beginning of when the Santosh Trophy has started, it looks like it started in 1941. And you can see for the first time, Mizoram makes it to the list here. And it's incredible uh, a feat for sure. And uh, I'm in conversation with Langa uh, Mar, also called Tete, from uh, Mizoram. So, Tete, one other thing I wanted to bring up is you mentioned about I-leagues, you know, uh, leagues. Yes. And uh, it looks like Mizoram also feels there is a need for a club from the state to qualify for the I-League, right? At present, there are only league, yeah. I-League clubs in the Northeast and Shillong yeah. area. So what, expand a little yeah. bit about why, why there is a need for uh, some sort of uh, a, a club in Mizoram, Tete. You know, uh, the, the biggest challenge was uh, to, to become the champions of India in the Central Trophy. Now the, 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 the next big thing is to, to, to at least uh, have one, one football club playing in the in, 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 in the I League. For this we need an investment. I I I mean recently I was interviewed by one of the national media and they asked me if, well, what is your next goal? Are you trying to bring one of your clubs to the I League? And the answer was I I, I feel that we have the talent because they are I, I, I can point out two or three football clubs in, in, in the I League who I mean uh, who uh, I mean, who signed them, you know, Mizzou players and, 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 and the Mizzou players in turn helped them to get into the IND. But to get the best of Mizzou players in, 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 in a single cup is very difficult because for that you need to get a spons- I mean, a sponsors from outside or maybe from, 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 from the uh, local, uh, I mean, local entrepreneurs here in Mizoram. So I am still struggling to get one. Uh, hopefully, if we can get the right kind of sponsor, I am very confident that we will be able to bring at least one team uh, in, 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 in the highest uh, football league, that is the INA. Because uh, take for an example, Shillong and Ajong, they are the first team from Northeast to qualify to, to qualify in the North, I mean, in the I League. That was five years back. Five years back, Shillong and Ajong qualified in the I League with players from Mizoram. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, you know, they were given the right kind of training with 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 with, with the better facility, which are not available here in in, in this tiny state. So, uh, you know, but Shillong and Jong, they can pay their players well. But in Mizoram, it's very very difficult to 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 get a big sponsor for the football clubs to pay. I mean, to pay their players. So we are still struggling to find that kind of sponsor. But even the right kind of sponsorship. 
I think that uh, within uh, one or two, I mean, one one year may be too short, two, three years, we will be able to get at least one team in the ID. Wonderful. And, uh, hmm, Tete, and it seems like Mizoram football is at a high right now because junior championship, senior championship, uh, also yeah. getting the Santos trophy. And added to that, added to this, uh, I think Mizoram Football Association grassroots development program has been declared by all India Football Federation is the best in the country, right? And uh, yes. it's it's not an easy thing to achieve. Uh, they, they, what what are the parameters, and how could how can uh, AIFF, All India Football Federation, declare an association to be the best? How do how do they do that, uh, they, they? Uh, I I was not told about. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the the criteria which they use to to measure the best grassroots state. But you know, uh, the, I mean, in, in Mizoram we are trying our level best because uh, for me the most important thing was uh, to start a, I, I mean, to, to 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 start a football league when I became the secretary. three and number two is uh, grassroots football because you know, you, if the children are taught the basic at at at, at their childhood, so you know, uh, for them uh, to get into the professional football is much much easier with with the right kind of technique at 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 the tender age uh, you know for this uh, we are trying uh, our level best uh, there are eight districts in Mizoram we have started a grassroots center in all the eight districts of Mizoram with with a grassroots trainer and we mm-hmm. want this uh, training center to be self sufficient the grassroots mm-hmm. trainers themselves are trained by uh, you know a gentleman who is coming from FIFA here that was way back in 2012 uh, October and he trained the trainers here in Mizoram. Then these trainers who are coming from different districts, they open their own gra- their own grassroots centers, which is all uh, supervised by the Mizoram Football Association. We have one full-time development officer who is uh, looking after all these grassroots centers. Right. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know how 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 they select uh, the best grassroots state in in, in in India, but I think uh, all in the Fed, Fed, football federation is pleased with with the kind of job which we are doing right now. Right, and Tete, one of the fundamental questions that any that anyone would ever ask in in these sort of sports like football that we're talking, of course, football is very popular, but in in a in a in a media world wherein we only talk about the jargon of cricket and not about anything else. Yes. Keeping our youngsters motivated onto uh, onto trying football, hockey, or anything is is extremely challenging, right? And yeah, yeah. W- w- tell me about these players. How do you guys keep them motivated? And unless we we don't show those chances, saying that hey, you know what, your future is going to be like this if you are playing football. You know, it's very hard when you see the entire mainstream media focusing on cricket, and also if they talk about football, they'll talk about. Manchester United happening something happening outside the world on a regular basis not about what's happening inside the country right so how do you keep uh, youngsters motivated uh, Tete? you know in Mizoram I mean in Mizoram the, the biggest sport is always football but as you as you have rightly mentioned uh, the, the the national media is not giving attention to the lo- local football local football means the national football here uh, but you know, in in in, in I mean, the the, the Mizoram kids, uh, they want to become a professional footballer, uh, but it, it's 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 very very difficult for them. You know how how to find a way. Uh, mm-hmm. Before I became a secretary of Mizoram Football Association, I used to have the footballers going down to the big big clubs in in India. I used to talk to 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 the managers and the officials of the bigger clubs in India. Uh, that uh, we have a potential footballer who is willing to go on trial for for their clubs, but you know, out of that, I mean, many footballers we have sent outside. Personally, uh, only a few of them will succeed uh, to get themselves enrolled in, in 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 at the bigger stage. But mm. with with uh, you know, recent uh, result of some of the Mizoram, I mean, Mizor players who are playing in the I N E, which. I mean, who are focused here in, in, in the Mizoram media. The Mizoram media is a football-friendly media. So, you know, they are giving attention to the Mizo players playing in the I-League, earning X amount of money, mm-hmm. while, uh, you know, the, the, the players here are not, uh, are not uh, earning enough to, to earn their, their bread and butter. 
So the, the, the younger middle players, they want to play in the Ali so much so that, you know, some of them they even make like their studies. So, you know, the motivation starts with, with, with the older Mizo players playing in the Ali. And uh, the, the local, the, the Mizoram media, they are writing something good about these players earning their, uh, I mean, bread and butter uh, through football. So, you know, uh, we do not have any challenges as such when it comes to cricket here in, 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 in the state. But if you look at the bigger picture, of course, it's very, very difficult for the for for the Indian footballer to survive in this cricket crazy world of I mean in this cricket crazy world. Right. But for a Mizo player, they are very fortunate because you know the media in Mizoram are more football friendly than cricket. Ah, okay, okay, got it. And and Tete, yeah, I wanted to ask you about this. It all starts at, at, at the childhood, right? So if you see a social activist, if uh, you can see that his kid is very socially oriented, you know, dad volunteering for multiple causes, he will get into the direction. If you see a, a politically uh, inclined uh, a family, you'll see that the, the son also getting it. So I want to understand what's the role of schools in this entire program. Do you guys work with the schools uh, in order to push this idea of uh, promoting football and also performing at a highest level, playing with uh, uh, playing at the leagues in the international uh, uh, format and structure. Do, do you guys imbibe this in the education as well? I mean, uh, we, we have a school football. I mean, we, we have school sports, inter-school sports, at, 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 at the local level here, in, at, at the district level, at the state level also. But, you know, uh, the school sport, the school structure itself, I mean, the school sporting structure in Mizoram is not up to the mark. So we we are not doing very much when it comes to, you know, school school sports, school football. But uh, recently, uh, we, we had we had a meeting with, with some of the, you know, teachers from, from, from the school, I mean, from the bigger schools in, 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 in the city, we offer them, like, uh, if you want any coach, uh, coaches for the football, I mean, for your football team, we can provide one. Because uh-huh. we, want to, we want to build a relationship with, with, with the schools here. But the problem with schools in Mizoram is that they do not have their own playground. So un- 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 unlike the other states, the school here, they do not have their own playground. So it's very difficult to have a, you know, to start a footballing, you know, culture in the school which doesn't have a, their own playground. Uh, so we are working more with a community-based thing uh, other than, uh, you know, school, uh, the the NGOs who are working with the kids and, you know, uh, and, and, and the bigger NGOs who are working as a whole in, 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 in the state promoting the youth welfare. So we are very much in touch with these people uh, to spread, uh, you know, to spread football. Excellent. And uh, I think we almost came half an hour in the show, uh, uh, Tete. Tete, I wanted to ask you one last thing before I let you go. How can anybody help? Let's imagine the show is being listened by people from Mizoram and, you know, who are outside the country and who are some sort of sponsorships. Imagine something good happens out of everything, right? Okay. How can they help, Tete? How can they reach out to you guys? Well, you know, uh, the biggest help which, which, which anyone can give to, I mean, for, for the promotion of football in the state is to, put, to sponsor the Mizoram Premier League. In fact, I'm, I'm still looking for, for, looking for a sponsor in the next, uh, in, 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 I mean, for, for, for the next two years. But uh, I, I recently met, uh, you know, a, a gentleman from Oil India and ONGC. Hopefully uh, something good will come out from, 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 from these people. But I'm still, I mean, putting my finger crossed. Then, you know, you know, if someone is interested in helping the kids here, they can sponsor the, uh, the, the grassroots project here, which we have started, uh, called the Mizoram Football Grassroots Project. And also, apart from that, you know, if, if we can get, or if myself or my colleague can get an opportunity to go to Europe, Europe or maybe to America or maybe to, to other countries like South Korea or Japan who are much more, you know, much more advanced when it comes to football, to see with a naked eye what is going on, the kind of structure they plan, the kind of training they undergo, you know, uh, so that we can bring the knowledge back to Mizoram and you know, uh, trying to 
uplift uh, what we have started three years back because we still need to grow for that, you know. Uh, we, as, as I said earlier, we have the potential, but we need to learn from the others who are already advanced in this field. So we can, if we can, I mean, if somebody can send us to Europe or to, to, to the more advanced footballing countries of Asia to, to, to learn what is going on, because India itself is a country which doesn't have any footballing culture other than Goa and West Bengal. Very true, so, very I mean, true. These are, the kind of, this, this, this are the two areas in which uh, the people can help. And and, 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 and to end this, uh, of course, they can send a trainer, you know, co- football coaches, you know, if they can, can send us a, a football coach uh, to train our trainers. Very true. Uh, this is one thing which I'm very keen about. So, as uh, friends, as you have listened to uh, Tete here, Tete mentioned three important things. One is assisting them and helping them out in the... Mizoram Football uh, League program and the grassroots development program, football development program that Tete was talking about. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, assisting and helping uh, Tete and his team uh, to make sure that they can visit the European uh, leagues or also uh, bringing them to U.S. so that they can take a look at how things work out in uh, in U.S. or in Europe, uh, the best uh, things. And the third thing that uh, Tete mentioned is about uh, you know, sponsoring a coach from uh, outside the countries who can help the, the Mizoram state team to thrive and then also excel in what they're doing right now. seems like uh, Mizoram is a football state, uh, but it took uh, quite some time and a lot of uh, holistic effort from the team in MFA to get this to a national scene right now. They're the champions of uh, 68 Santos Trophy. And uh, friends, you need more details about Tete. Tete is also uh, his, Tete is his uh, uh, nickname. And if you want to reach out to Lalanga Goa uh, Mar, you can go to the-aiff.com. Under that, you can go to state associations. If you type Mizoram there, there is Google search out there in the AIFF, All India Football Federation. And if you type Mizoram and search for it, you will get the Mizoram State Association. Uh, which is established in 1973. And you have uh, Mars number there, a mobile number there. And also we'll definitely furnish all those details to anyone who would reach out to NRI Samai, NRI Samai at gmail.com. You can write to NRI Samai at gmail.com. We'll furnish all those details if you want to reach out to uh, Mar and his team and also to the Mizoram uh, Football Association. So, uh, Tete, thank you so much for your time. It's a great pleasure talking to you. Well, I see a bright future, well, Tete. Okay, thank you so much. And we'll try to uh, post in these messages to as many people as possible, Tete. And uh, brilliant work. Uh, Congratulations. You have also got a holiday from the government of uh, Mizoram on that specific oh, day. Yes. Know, incredible day for you oh, guys. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And you can Google what was going on after the Santos Trophy match. I mean, just uh, just Google Mizoram Santos Trophy celebration and you'll be able to find out what was going on. Absolutely. Fabulous. Fabulous, uh, Tete. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, welcome, welcome. So, friends, that was uh, Lalango Mar, and uh, he's the secretary of Mizoram Football Association. Loads of talent, hard work, and uh, characterized by Mizoram's triumph in the 68th Santosh Trophy. Uh, certainly, long term planning, infrastructure development, effective development programs at the grassroots level, and most importantly, Mizoram Premier League, started by Tete and his team quite some time back, almost three years back, significantly contributed to the success of Mizoram's and they excelling and thriving in the national football championship. And uh, certainly this Northeast uh, rich football heritage state, as I can call after talking to Tete, seems to have a greater promise for future. And friends, I repeatedly uh, request you to go Google for Mizoram's Football Association. Also, the, the way I could find out uh, uh, Tete's number is just I googled for contact details on, uh, uh, on, the, on the Internet, and you can do that. And if you are from Mizoram, surrounding states, and you want to support this, uh, this state, and make sure that our country uh, just uh, shows up on the international uh, 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 players list as well, you can definitely help uh, the Mizoram Football Association and their team and their excellent grassroots programs. So reach out to them, and also you can write to nrisamai at gmail.com. Reach us to us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash nrisamai. Twitter, twitter.com forward slash nrisamai. Watch all our shows, archives at 
youtube.com forward slash NRISM. You can listen to all our shows there. And definitely you can listen to this show as well on, uh, on YouTube. So friends, wonderful uh, Sunday and uh, a quiet Sunday definitely for all of you around the world. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Bye. Friends, if you liked today's show, please go to youtube.com forward slash NRA Same and click on the subscribe button. You will get notified every time we publish a new show. And you can also like us on our social media sites like Facebook, Twitter and Google+.